Hello everyone, this is Blood Quintero and I am here to do a reading for the collective. Collective meaning all signs. This is um the weekend reading for you guys for the over the weekend. So I'm gonna pull you guys an oracle for like your overall energy. Um your oracle is also like um was crowning your energy over the weekend. And I'm gonna pull you guys a uh also a crystal. Um yeah, it's really a crystal, like an inspiration. But, you know, it's a, it's a crystal, but it's to inspire. So, that's the name of the deck. Crystal Inspiration. Daily Crystal Inspiration. So, the crystal card is, you know, it's for it's some type of inspiration. So, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to do y'all weekend reading a little bit different this week. I'm going um, to use, like, another Oracle deck. Um, you know, and then I'm going to go from there. I think I'm going to put like three or maybe six cards from the or from the other Oracle deck for like the, the main spread, the reading. So I see. But let me put you guys Oracle. What's the collective's Oracle for over the weekend? Okay, it flew right out. We have trust. So this is your Oracle. It say trust. It say when love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. So, yeah, that's that's trust. <laughs> so, collective, your overall energy over the weekend. This weekend reading is also for Monday. Because, you know, Monday a holiday is Labor Day. So, a lot of people, you know, that's still considered the weekend. A lot of people don't have to work. So, um, I'm going to include Monday as well. So, again, this weekend reading is from September 3rd to September the 6th, 2021. So, again, like I said, collective, your oracle is trust. So, this trust energy is going to be crowning you over the weekend. So, you're going to be guided and influ influenced to trust. Trust in the unknown. Trust in, um, it's a let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. To wait patiently until the timing is right. Yeah. So, so collective over the weekend, whatever you had planned, whatever you was hoping for or was trying to do over the weekend might not be the right time. Um, And if over the weekend is the right time, you might have to wait for like a different time, a time frame. So maybe you wanted to do something today, which is Friday. You might have to wait until Saturday. So either a specific date or time over the weekend is not the right time. Or just the weekend period is not the right time for you to, you know, do something or whatever. All right. So what's the collective crystal for over the weekend? All right. This stuff flying right out. All right. We have tiger's eye. Yeah, overcome your fears. All right, so okay. It's kind of making sense already. So collective, um, I think um, you guys are, or somebody has the courage to overcome a fear. And it's like, they want to do it like right then and there when they realize they have overcame a fear. Um, or opportunity might come up for you to overcome a fear or prove to yourself or somebody else that you have overcame a fear but the timing might not be right like when you want to do it i'm picking up somebody who probably want to prove prove something to themselves or somebody else yeah yeah but you're gonna have to trust the most high the universe with the timing aspect of this so Okay, so Tiger's Eye, that's um, you guys' uh, crystal inspiration for over the weekend. Let me find it and read it. All right. So, it say, overcome your fears. Sooner or later, we are all called upon to take action and face our fears. Be empowered, courageous, and bold. Even the bravest among us experience fear. It matters only that you face that fear and overcome it. Don't let the natural instinct to avoid discomfort prevent you from realizing some of your greatest experiences. Storm the 
proverbial castle, push open the gates, embrace your inner tiger, and tear down that fear until it is conquered. Shift your perspective and welcome fear as an opportunity to step up. Meet the challenge and demonstrate your resilience. Okay, the affirmation for this oracle is, I face fear head on. Today or over the weekend, begin one thing that you've been afraid to do. Again, the affirmation for this oracle, Tiger's Eye, is I face fear head on. Then it's suggesting to you that today or over the weekend, begin one thing that you've been afraid to do. So collective and reading re in this crystal, what came to me was that somebody, um, <laughs> somebody, uh, don't want to take a COVID shot. Somebody could be afraid of, have a fear of needles or somebody could have a fear of the vaccine just in general. Um, so for example, collective, say like you get the nerve up to go take your, uh, COVID shot and you get to the place and it's closed. So it's like you worked up the nerve to overcome your fear, but it's like you get to the place to take the shot and they close. So you might have to wait till Saturday or something like that going on. But I picked up like a COVID shot. Yeah. So again, somebody could be have a fear of needles or just the COVID vaccine in general. Um, somebody don't. Uh, it's a fear that maybe the COVID shot is not um, sufficient, dependable, trustworthy, the COVID vaccine. But some of you guys might be doing that over the weekend, um, taking y'all COVID shot. Or it could or it could be the um side effects of the vaccine too. Yeah. So I picked up the COVID vaccine or just a shot in general. Some type of shot. All right. So let me just jump into the reading. So I think I'm gonna pull. Uh, let me see how the energy go. So, what's going on with the collective over the weekend? What do the collective need to know? What's going on? Ooh. All right. First card out, we got success and growth. This is the Eight of Wands. Collective view of somebody else could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Weekend. We got moving on, the Eight of Cups. So, we got 8-8 eight, eight so far. 88. Moving on, the Eight of Cups. Somebody is emotionally walking away from something or someone. Somebody could be giving up. Somebody could be walking away from something that had the potential to grow. Something could be hard for somebody. I see two people going their separate ways. It could be a business deal or some type of partnership. You guys having a, a disagreement and somebody going to walk away. This is like literally or like emotionally from like... The partnership. Yeah, somebody's going to have a disagreement and pull back. They're going to pull their energy back. What else going on for the collective? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands, new vitality. Yep, we got more fire energy. Um, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Then the Eight of Cups is water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, I'm going to pull six. And then we have number 18, confront. What is number 18? Is that the moon? Okay, yeah. So number 18, that is the moon. Yep, confront. Um, collective view of somebody else could be, um, what's the moon? The moon is uh, Cancer. The moon can sometimes be Pisces too. So we got Cancer or Pisces. So we got another, another like, you know, we got 888 a little bit. Because it's an 8 within that 18. So we got 38 so far. Or you can suggest 88. Um, some, so someone's going to confront their intuition. Yeah, this is somebody um overcoming, facing a fear. Yeah, the moon. Somebody's, it's like somebody knows something intuitively. Or somebody could be paranoid in this moon energy. But this moon card and this that tell you to confront the issue. Yeah. Face your fears head on. Yep. And it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Yep. Okay, then we got the heart chakra. 
the heart chakra. Something going on with the heart chakra. Somebody could be healing. Give me one more for the collective for the weekend. Whoever in eight cups, someone could be walking away from something emotionally to to heal, to lick their wounds. This person walking away emotionally from a person, place, a thing is either a good thing or a bad thing. So this person walking away emotionally is like could be given up. And it's like if they walk away from this eight of wands, it's like... um. They're not going to get their healing. So it's either they're walking away is the right thing and they're going to be able to start healing. Or them walking away is, is going to delay their healing. Give me one more for the collective. Okay, we got six of pentacles. Giving and receiving. Collective, you or somebody else could be a, um an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So we don't have no swords out here yet. We got fire, we got water, and earth. Yeah. So I haven't used my Kipper deck in a while, so I'm gonna use it today. It was either the Kipper deck or this deck right here, but I haven't used the Kipper deck in a while, so I just went with the Kipper, the Kipper deck. So give me what's going on with success and growth. All right, we got change. Yeah, something happened. Is something changing? Somebody probably is not comfortable with these changes. Something is um successful. Something has the, the potential for success. But somebody don't like some type of changes. Somebody don't like a change. One person might appreciate it and somebody else probably don't. Somebody could be literally having to move. Somebody might get um some communication that they might have to move. Give me another one for the Eight of Wands. Yeah, thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, there's a decision that has to be made. And I'm picking up, it's two people. This could be a love work, a life. One person agree with this change and the other person don't. Yeah. Yeah, so one person is like optimistic and the other person is like, mm -mm, they don't like these changes. And this masculine is thinking about, it could be a man. <clears throat> so it could be a female that walked away from this masculine. It could be a man that's in eight wands. And this female could have been the one to walk away, walk away. Or this man could be the one who walked away. What's going on with moving on the eight cups? Yeah, false person. False person. Give me one more for moving on. This Eight of Cups. I think somebody is walking away from a false person. Or a false person is walking away emotionally from being a false person. Yeah, main male. This is a karmic to me in this day. Yeah, this is a karmic. Or this is somebody who's divine masculine who's not awakened. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is thinking about leaving somebody behind. That's what this is. Somebody thinking about leaving somebody behind. Yeah. It's like somebody's somebody was carrying somebody else's weight and it's like over the weekend somebody's going to get tired of somebody like they have their breaking point. So this person is going to change something. This could be, if this is in work, it could be like somebody changing up the policy or something like that. But there's a change concerning something that's probably already successful. Something is already successful, but somebody's changing. Something is being changed. Somebody might relocate or be told to leave or, yeah. And it's a masculine that was thinking about this. This could be in love as well. And 
And I think, yeah, someone is emotionally detaching themselves from a false person. And it's uh, a karmic. Yeah, somebody is detaching themselves from a karmic. And that's for the best. It's for their healing, this heart chakra. Yeah, somebody leaving somebody behind and work, love, a life. Or somebody is removing themselves from a situation. Yeah. So this is if this is in Korea, it's like collective. You changing jobs. You're changing jobs. Collective, you or somebody else could have been could have had been getting harassed at work by somebody that's obsessed with you. So you might just pick up and leave work. Or you probably had something else lined up and it's like unexpectedly. This person at your job is like, they can't believe you going. Like they were stalking you, probably obsessed with you at work. Borderline sexual harassment. What's going on with the Ace of Wands with new vitality? Oh. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sudden wealth and um unexpected income came out. And then we got concern and occupation. Yeah, this could be about work. This could be about work. I'm picking up collective. You could be like self-employed or something. But it's like collective, you good on your own. That's why I'm picking up somebody good on their own. And it's like collective, you could have been doing somebody a favor. And it's like they making your life extra hard for nothing. So it's like you probably finally just like tell this person to go. This could be a work love of life, collective. You, I'm picking up somebody good on their own. Yeah, somebody was dealing with a karmic. Yeah. Yeah. Collective, this person that you probably leave behind. Or give some bad news to. Like, you know, I don't think this is a good match. We need to go our separate ways. This person is going towards a new opportunity. But it's like this person is still concerned about you. Somebody's concerned about you collective. It's like this karmic got a new opportunity. Like this ace of wands. But it's like they still thinking about you. They still thinking about you. So it's like this person has an ace of wands. They have a new opportunity. But it's like this you collective. So it's like they still think about you. Like, um, yeah, this person is stressed out. Because collective, I'm picking up you good. You know how to do your job. You, you know, you probably good single. If this is in love, you good by yourself. You don't need nobody. But you know, you probably gave this person the benefit of the doubt. They could have begged you to be their uh, boyfriend or girlfriend. They, this person begged you. But it's like collective. This person is a karmic. This person is a karmic, and it's like y'all gonna somebody's gonna go their separate ways over the weekend. Work, love, a life, and it's like this person, the karmic, has new opportunity. But it's like they still thinking about you. They're they're stressed out about about you. But it's basically they being nosy. It's like you good by yourself, collective, and this person was trying to convince you that you needed them. And you occupation. You occupation, collective, this is you. So this is like either about work or career or collective. Whatever you was doing in partnership with this karmic, it's like collective, you can do it by yourself. So this could have been a lover or at work, a business partner or something. And it's like either way, collective, you're good or you're probably better off alone. Or whatever this thing is that you do, collective, it comes easy to you. It's easy. So it's like you really didn't need them. You really didn't. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. What's going on with Confront the Moon? All right, we got lovers, lovers. So this is my card for like um, a relationship without toxicity. 
This doesn't have to be like a twin, like a twin flame. This is any relationship without toxicity. What's what else is going on with confront the moon energy? Yeah, sudden wealth came out again. Yeah, yeah. Collective, you um, this karmic that you was dealing with in work, love, or life. This karmic was like, had you brainwashed a little bit? If they didn't have you brainwashed, it's like collective, you really didn't need this person, but you wanted them around. So it's like now collective over the weekend, you're going to break ties with someone. And it's like collective, you're going to confront. Um, It's like you're going to have to deal with like your aloneness or being single, being without this person. And it's like, you want, this is what you want. I'm picking up, this is a desire. Like, you want a business partnership or a love of fear without toxicity. And it's like, your sudden wealth. Like, you want to make money with a business partner. That, you know, that's not a karmic. So, this could definitely be in business or career. Yeah. It's like, that's what you, it's like, now you're ready to deal with, um, it's like collective in that moon energy. You or somebody else is like re-evaluating, rearranging things. It's like you learned a lesson. Now you know what you don't want. So it's like now you, it's like you know, um, it's like now you know the signs of like a karmic, somebody that's not a good partner, a business partner. So for example, collective, say like this karmic energy, y'all could have been doing business together. And it's like, the first day y'all started working together, this person gave you red flags, but you ignored your intuition. And it's like now over the weekend, it's like you learned your lesson. You know not to play with your intuition. It's like when you, if this is, if you a business partner, I'm giving this for an example. If you are um, self-employed and it's like you interviewing someone. It's like as soon as they say the wrong thing or that your red flags go off collective, it's like you're not going to um, second guess your intuition. If you don't feel right about somebody, you're not going to hire them. If you don't feel right about a lover, you're not going to allow this lover to convince you to take things to a, the, you know the next level. Because it's like this is what you desire. This is what you really want. So it's like collective, you got to deal with the fact what was going on with you that you didn't get this? You thought this karmic was going to be able to give you this. Like y'all was going to make money together. And it's like it was going to be a relationship, a partnership without toxicity. You just wanted your sudden wealth and, you know, without drama. Yeah. And it's like collective. It's like you're confronting you got like your intuition. But you dealing with yourself. Like now I know what I did wrong. When the karmic first did this, when the karmic first lied, I should have just left the karmic right then and there. It's like you're confronting like your own demon. Yeah, and how you allowed this karmic to like stick around longer than they should have. Yeah, that's what you're going over in your mind. It's like you learned a lesson. Now you know if you're a business owner collective or self-employed, it's like now you know who to hire. It's like you know a karmic from a mile away. Yeah, some things like that. What's going on with this heart chakra? Yeah, we got mature men. Yep. Mature men. Yeah, collective, you almost done with something. I'm picking up collective. Um, you learned a karmic lesson. And like it's like you closing out that cycle. You the mature man concerning your heart chakra. Yeah. You almost done with your healing. What's going on? What else going on with the heart chakra? Ooh. And then we got journey. Yeah. Yeah. Collective, you've been through a, um, yeah, you done, you know, you you're done over the weekend, collective. You're done with a karmic cycle, as well as a karmic. You allowing this karmic to keep you on this this uh cycle, to keep you in this cycle. Yeah, you about you done with your healing, you learned your lessons. Yeah, it was a journey. It took you a while to get to this mature man, though. It took you a while to get to this mature energy for something to be over. It was a journey. Yeah, collective, you could have been dealing with this person for a while. 
but it was concerning like matters of the heart. So this could have been a lover collective, like matters of the heart, or it's like whatever this thing is, it was near and dear to you. This could have been your job. This could have been your business. Yeah, so collective, you was emotionally involved in something and like the karmic wasn't. You was emotionally attached. Yeah. And the karmic wasn't. This karmic energy, yeah. And it's like collective, this karmic, this person, it's like they kind of like don't care. Because it's like collective, I'm picking up, of course, this karmic, this karmic been walked away from you emotionally, whether this is in work, love, or life, this karmic been left. They wasn't feeling you. Y'all wasn't on the same page. Their heart wasn't where your heart was at. They weren't as serious as you were. But what's going to happen, collective, is like over the weekend, their eight of cups is going to be revealed to you. Like it's going to be manifested. You're going to see that this person been walked away from you emotionally. It's like the eight of cups is going to be shown to you. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like that's when you're going to realize like officially that this person is a karmic, a false person. Yeah. What's going on with giving and receiving? Yeah, main female. Yep. The main female. So this in this deck, this is like a karmic as well. The main female. Yep. Clarify the main female. As well, collective, this karmic that you was dealing with, they can't believe you actually got the balls to do it. Like, you had the nerve to, like, literally let this person go or leave this person behind or to confront them about their um false person energy. Yeah, this person can't believe it. They like this. So, collective, say, like, this is a lover. And it's like, you knew this person was cheating on you, but you never really wanted to leave them. Like, you was comfortable with them. You was putting up with them. And it's like over the weekend collective, you break up with this person and it's like this person is going to start a passionate new beginning with the person they was already with, who they was cheating on you with. But it's like they at the, the third party house, but like this, still worried about you. Like that, I knew the collective, this person is like, I knew the collective knew, but that I didn't think he or she really was going to let me go. Like this person like shocked. Yeah. What's going on with uh giving and receiving the six of pentacles? Yeah, expectation came out in reverse. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Collective, this person was expecting a payout from you. Or collective, this person, y'all relationship, whether it was a work, love, or life, this person, y'all relationship was one-sided. Yeah, that six of pentacles could be somebody given to two. Or it's like somebody was helping you out but with strings attached. Yeah. So, collective, I don't know if you a female, you could have been dating a masculine who was, like, around you either for money or for sex. Yeah, but it's like they heart wasn't in it. So, it's like they wanted the six of pentacles from you. So, this is them expecting money from you. Or this is them wanting a lot, but giving a little. Something that's un unfair. Somebody helping you with strings attached. Something like that. The Six of Pentacles is tricky. This could have also been collective. Say like you, this could be a business partner. And it's like collective, whatever this business thing was. It's like this person... You didn't need this person help. That's what I'm picking up. You did not need this person help. But it's like somehow you guys became business partners. And it's like collective. In this Six of Pentacles, this person was gossiping about you. So it's like you didn't need this person help. You, you didn't beg this person to be your girlfriend or your boyfriend. But it's like unbeknownst to you collective, it's like you had this person around. They probably made your life a little bit easier. But you really didn't need this person collective. And it's like, you got like a little extra cushion 
but it was like at the expense of your dignity. Like you was unaware that this person that you really didn't need around you is like they inserted their self in your energy. And it's like then when they got their foot in the door, they could have been gossiping about you or messing up your business or doing something. Because it's un unequal give and take. That six of pentacles could be something like slick with it. Somebody that could be um doing something behind your back without you knowing. Yeah, so it could have been them gossiping, oh, the collective, this, is and that. If it wasn't for me, their business would be going under. If it wasn't for me, don't nobody want the collective. That's why I'm staying with the collective because don't nobody else want the collective. Something like that, this person could have just been... Yeah, but it's like collective. This person expected this um six of pentacles that you guys had going on between y'all two. Basically, something was unfair. Something was going on that the other party didn't know. So this person's expectation is in reverse. This person is not going to get what they what they want this weekend, or their or what they were getting from you collective is going to stop over the weekend. So this person had an expectation. Yeah. This person was expecting this this um six of pentacles energy. Yeah. Yeah, and this person either way around this person is coming up as a karmic. So um this could definitely be like in a in love. So collective this could have been you was dating a karmic and you could have been taking care of this man. And it's like, he was like the money you was giving him. He was giving to his, the third party. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like what it's looking like. But it's like collective, this man, this karmic masculine that you was dealing with, you really didn't need him in the first place. So it's like how he got situated in your life, I don't know. Yeah, this man could have been taking your, um, like, some money or whatever you was giving to him and giving it to, like, whoever his third party is. Something like that. It also could be the other way around. Collective, if you a man, you could have been giving a female, like, helping a female out. She, you know, it could have been friends with benefits or y'all was girlfriend and boyfriend. Or it's like y'all was together out of comfort. Like, y'all knew each other. For a long time. Or y'all just connected like that. So it's like a favor for a favor. But it's like this female was doing something. Like collective behind your back. If you a man. Yeah. Or she probably wanted to get pregnant by you. For money. And it's like her expectation is going in reverse. Yeah. Yep, her, this female, this, this karmic, yeah. It could be both going on, though. It could be both going on. At the bottom down here, this could be for, like, for a masculine. And it's like he had a karmic female around him. And at the top, this could be going on with a female. And it's, it's like she had a karmic man around her. Yeah. So what's going on with the eight of wands with change and thoughts? Yeah, the two of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Somebody was juggling. There was a third party. Somebody was juggling. Or somebody, this two of pentacles collective. You could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Don't have to be. But this is somebody like, um, like this is like the everyday struggle. Like that two of pentacles. One pentacle is like your job. The other pentacle could be like your kids. So it's like you juggle the everyday life. The everyday struggle. Yeah. Somebody is eight of wands. Very successful. Has the potential for success and growth. Because there are two pentacles. This is somebody who's like responsible. It's like they do the same thing every day. They got the same routine. They maintain. Yeah. This is somebody who's responsible. They maintain. They maintain their responsibilities. So that's that could be how somebody got eight wands. Eight wands is like unexpected success. I'm picking up maintenance. Like somebody maintained the little that they have to get more. 
Yeah, somebody was like maintaining the little that they had. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, the world. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, the world collective. You can be um an in Aquarius or a Capricorn. Definitely a Capricorn. Don't have to be. But collective, a cycle is being closed out around you juggling, struggling. So collective, you're going to reach some type of plateau. You're going to the next level in something. So collective, I'm going to give an example. Say like collective, you got a masculine living with you. And you live like in like housing projects. You live in like public housing. And this masculine was doing Ill illegal things out your home. But it's like I, over the weekend, collective, you the world. So that's very successful. Collective, you could, you could get a promotion at work. Something could happen to we as collective. You no longer have to stay in these housing projects, like public housing. It's like you was upgraded to like, you probably get approved for a house or something like that. And it's like this masculine, don't, he, it's like he wants you to stay in like public housing because it benefits him. He's able to do these illegal things out of your home because it benefits him. He don't have to worry about the police and this is and that. It benefits him, but it don't benefit you and your growth. That's, that's like, that's what I'm... It don't have to be that scenario, but that's like what I'm picking up. It's like collective, your success doesn't benefit the other party. Yeah, and it don't have to be like you living in public housing. I just gave that for an example because of the cars, what the cars look like. Yeah, so it's like collective, this is like you, you living in public housing, you was juggling. You went to work and then you came home, take care of your kids. You did the same thing every day, every day. You could have been saving your money for years. And it's like collective. Now it's like you got enough money. You can move to like a better neighborhood. It's something that you're, um, you closing out a cycle. Like this is like improvement. Going to the next level or something. So this could be you going from an apartment to a house. Going from like regular to like lieutenant or supervisor, manager. And it's like your success collective is not sitting well with somebody else. Like your success doesn't benefit this other person. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. It's like collective. A cycle is being closed out around like how you used to do. So I don't know collective over the weekend. You probably get a raise. So it's like you're able to have more spending money. It's like you probably don't need this masculine no more. This little $100 he used to give you every week. It's probably like collective something like that. Like you can get a raise or get a bonus. And you could have had a karmic around you that was giving you like a little $100 every week. But it's like collective. One, once you get this world energy, it's like you don't need this man no more. You don't need his $100. Because it's like you got a raise. Something like that. Yeah, something like that going on. What's going on with this Eight of Cups with this false person and this main male? Yeah, this person, Eight Swords. Yeah, Eight Swords Collective. This person is in their head. I'm picking up this person is also jealous too a little bit. And this could be in Love Collective. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah, it's a it's somebody around you collective that is not happy for your success because it don't benefit them. And I don't know why. It's like this person wants you to stay where you was at. They don't want you to be the world card. They want you to be two pentacles. Like you do the same thing every day. If you get paid, if your paycheck collected five hundred dollars. This person is not going to appreciate it if your paycheck get to like $1,000. This person don't like that. They want you to stay at $500 or less because it benefits this person.
collective. If you're a man watching this, this is like um um somebody like your homeboy or business partner. Yeah. It's like your homeboy or business partner is like a karmic. And this masculine is a little bit jealous of you because you um upgrade. It's something. Somebody's upgrading is something. And this person, this karmic is eight swords. This person is worried. This person is bothered. And it already showed me right here that they concerned. So it just confirmed the eight of swords. Yeah, this person is confirmed. But it's like collective. I don't know if this person make you feel as though that you separating yourself from them. Or you stop giving them something that they're losing out. But it's like they not. They lying to you. It's just a game that they play with you. Yeah, they ain't losing out. Because it's like collective. When you go your separate way from this person, they have an ace of wands. So this could be another lover. This could be another job. Yeah, it's like they have an ace of wands. But this person just wanted to be in your business. This karmic could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This person could also be worried about going to jail. So it's like collective. This person leave you alone. They just walk away emotionally. Yeah, because they could be worried about going to jail. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this false person could definitely be a water sign or an um, air sign. Or collective, you could be a water sign and this person could be an air sign. Yeah, three of pentacles. Collaboration. The three of pentacles could also be like um somebody who's self-employed. Yeah. So it's like collective, somebody is a source about your three of pentacles. Collective, you could be an earth sign. Yeah, somebody is worried. It's like they don't know how to. It's like collective, you're... Um, uh, what I want to say, it's like collective, you are, um, what's the word? You the world. So you getting some type of success. I don't know if business could be picking up collective or you're getting new, like more, uh, lovers coming at you, potential lovers. And it's like, this person is eight swords trying to figure out how to, um, knock you right back down. Yeah. This person trying to figure out how to knock you back, knock you back down because you collaborating and this person don't like you three pentacles. So it's like collective you 10 pentacles. So collective say like you started a business and say like you a hairdresser. I don't know why I always give a hairdresser as an example, but say like collective you a hairdresser. You just open up your shop or whatever. You probably got one client. And it's like collective over the weekend, it's like you won't get like four more clients. So it's like you go from the two of pentacles to the five to like five pentacles. Like just over the weekend. And this person don't like that. So it's like five of pentacles is not the richest person, but five pentacles is better than two pentacles. So collective, you go from two to five pentacles. And that's like improvement the world. So, like I say, collective, say like your income, your like your weekly income could have been $200. It's like collective, you pick up more clientele. So, it's like now you making $500 instead of $200. You're not the richest person in the world, but it's like it's your business is starting to pick up. And this karmic don't like that. Or a collective, this person, this three of pentacles collective, if you're like moving, relocating, this is like some type of collaboration. So this could be you going to the bank and you signing your documents, whatever, whatever, you collaborate and closing on the house. And it's like this karmic, this person is at home, eight swords. And collective, I don't know if um if this is like this um success has to do with your living arrangements. It's like when you get home. This person might be gone. They probably leave you. So it's like the trash took itself out. What's going on with the Ace of Wands with concern and occupation? Yeah, the Empress and the Magician. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Collective view of somebody else could be a Libra or a Taurus. Collective view of somebody else could be um, a Virgo or a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so collective. I'm picking up a little bit collective. You the Empress and the Magician. I'm also picking up collective that this person can have your scraps. Or this person can have your seconds collective. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up with the Empress and the Magician. It's like collective. This person can have your scraps. This person can have your um seconds. Whether this seconds is in work, love, or life. Because it's like you the Empress and you the Magician. So it's like you manifested something. You made this happen. You put in the work, the hard work to get this uh success. Yeah. And it's like this person, this karmic, can't believe that you actually was able to pull it off. This person can't believe it. It's like in spite of, they could have been doing something against you, collective. And it's like in spite of their, whatever they was doing against you, it's like you still was able to pull it off. So it's like, collective, this person, so this could be a situation, collective, I don't know. Collective, you might get married or you might elope over the weekend. And it's like, collective, you could have been with a karmic. And it's like, this karmic was cheating on you. But it's like, collective, you just go off somewhere and get married. And it's like, you come back home and you be like, John, you gotta go. Yeah, I'm married. You ain't think I knew all this time you was cheating with your baby mother. So, yeah, I, you know, I married so-and-so, so you gotta go. So it's like this person is like with their child's mother or with the third party, but it's like collective. This person is bothered. They still can't believe like you pulled something off. You still was able to do this. And like in spite of them or you didn't need their help or something. Yeah, this person cannot believe it. Or collective, this person um could have been doing like spell work on you or manipulation. And it's like in spite of their <laughs> this person, I don't know what this person was doing to you. But okay, for example, collective, say like this person was doing spell work on you and it was making you sick, it was making you weak. It's like collective, in spite of the success of this person's like manipulation, you still got some type of success. So whether you were sick collective, you was weak, it's like you still got up every morning and went to work. It's like you still pulled something off in spite of this karmic. And this person, they like this. They cannot believe it. Like, I don't get it. What's going on with um uh, what's going on with confront the moon lovers and sudden wealth? Yeah, the two of swords. Yeah, this person, yeah. Collective, this person don't know how you did this. They don't know how you did it. They two of swords. Collective, this could be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Collective, you could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Collective, you probably had to block this person as well. You probably had to block this person. Two of Swords. You probably had to block this person out, Collective, so you can get your thoughts together, so you can tap into your intuition. Pull yourself together. Somebody Two Swords. Or this is this person in your energy while you um face your fears, while you confront like your own demons, Collective. It's like this person, they still in your energy and they two swords. But I'm picking up this person is blocked. Or collective, you could be confronting something, a part of yourself that was once blocked. So you could be tapping into your intuition. 
clarify the two of swords. Yeah, death. Yeah, in the ten of cups. Yeah. Collective, this karmic could have been a family member. Don't have to be. Or it could have been a lover or somebody you was married to. Or an ex-spouse. Uh, Oh, okay, I get it. Collective, when you go and deal with your demons, it's like you're going to, this drama between you and this person, it's like, collective, you're going to take responsibility for what happened. Not the full responsibility, because this person is the karmic, but it's like, collective, you're going to own your demons and that moon energy. And it's like, once you do that, collective, it's going to be an ending to this person, Ten of Cups. And this person was trying to block you from doing this. This person did not want you to do this, but it's going to happen anyway. It's going to be an ending to this person's Ten of Cups. Or I don't know, Collective, you might have to make, you're going to make a final call on the divorce. You might make a final call on the divorce and it's going to end your Ten of Cups, like this marriage. Or Collective, say like if this is in love and you was married to this karmic. It's like collective over the weekend. You're going to tell this person to get out your house. And then it's like collective. You're going to make up your mind to start the process of the divorce. And it's like this person don't know that they just know you kicked them out the house, but they don't know that you're going to go through with the whole thing. It's like you're going to start the ball or the like to get them um, div divorce papers out. So it's like this person and two store and two swords don't know that their ten of cups is done. So the marriage could be done. Whatever made them happy is done. Collective, you could have made them happy when you was being a fool. That could have been a ten of cups. Yeah, when they was playing you. Yeah, that one could have been a ten of cups. What's going on with this heart shocker or mature man's journey? Yeah, the three of wands. Yeah, collective. Yep. This been going on for a while. It could have been going on for three years. But Collective, you done with your healing process. Collective, you could have also walked... Well, yeah. You walked away from this situation emotionally, too. You did as well. But Collective, you done with your healing. You done. So you're not attached to this person emotionally, neither. Or attached to the idea, Collective, you probably wanted this person to be on your level, but they're not. They're a karmic. You didn't want this person to be a karmic collective, but they are. So it's like this person could have hurt your feelings really bad. This person could, could have embarrassed you. Or like I said, Collective, this person at some point had you thinking you needed them. And it's like, Collective, you're going to go back to the beginning. And it's like, you're going to be like, I never needed this karmic in the first place. Like, where did I go wrong? Like, I don't need this karmic. But Collective, you did your work in this heart chakra. It was a journey, but you have reached like a level of maturity in your healing. And you're going to see your ships come in. This could also be you waiting for justice, waiting for them to get their karma for um whatever this person did to you. Collective, you could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Clarify the three of wands. Yeah, three of swords. Yeah. Yeah, this person broke your heart, Collective. Yep, this person broke your heart and work, love, and life. Yep, or this person had you in a third party. But in, over the weekend, Collective, you're going to leave that three of swords behind. Yep, so this third party can be in work, love, and life. If this is in uh work or career, it's like collective. You had a business part of a business part partner who was like a trader. They were a trader. Yeah, and it was a third party in business. Yeah, but collective, um, 
I call this being divinely um, divinely distracted. Collective, over the weekend, you're going to be divinely distracted and protected. Because it's like you putting this three of swords behind you. You are able to heal. And it's like you wait and you're going to see your ships come in. And you're able to put that three of swords, this betrayal, up behind you. Because you did your work. Yeah. Yeah, you did your work. And this, for, yeah. But I'm picking up, you're going to be divinely distracted. Yeah. It's like you're going to see something from a different perspective or you're going to feel. Collective, say like this, whatever this thing is, say like it used to bother you. It's like collective over the weekend, your healing is going to be complete. So it's like collective, you're not going to believe that this thing don't bother you no more or that you really have you done. It's like it don't bother you no more. Or you're going to be divinely distracted. Collective, this could be a situation if it's in business. It's like you get an increase in sales. Or you get some type of success. And it's like, Collective, you too busy, happy because of this accolades you're getting, this success. So it's like you're divinely distracted from this Three of Swords. Yeah. But it's part of your healing, or you're almost, or you're done with your healing. What's going on with the Six of Pentacles with main female and un, unexpected ex, expectation coming out in reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is yeah. This could definitely be about work or business. Yeah, collective. You or somebody else could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah. Collective, I don't know if you could have a little, you could be like wealthy and it's like somebody like your lover, your ex could have thought like after the divorce, they was going to get half of your estate and they don't. Yeah, somebody probably thought they was going to be able to take like all your stuff, something you had worked for. And it's like, they don't get what they expected. It's like this person wanted like a payout at your expense but it's like collective you did this you put in most of the work so this person expectation is in reverse or um if you are a man what i just picked up too you could be going through like some legalities it could be a divorce and it's like collective over the weekend you could have like in the past you could have requested like a paternity test and it's like, that baby not yours. So it's like, this woman not going to get nothing. Because that baby probably not yours. Yeah, expectation in reverse. So this baby is not yours. Or this woman might miscarriage. And it's like, this woman was trying to make you think she wanted you for love. And she might have a miscarriage or something. But collective, somebody wanted something at your expense. Yeah, they wanted a payout from your hard work, the Eight Pentacles. Or this person could be an earth sign. And it's like collective, this person was focused on your money. This person was working on your your um Six of Pentacles. It's like they, they focused on you and what you're doing. So this could be a situation where collective... Whether you male or female, it's like collective. Your person don't is not employed. And it's like they sit home. They're cheating on you. They're disrespecting you. They're a karmic. And it's like they want half of your check. They feel entitled to your stuff. Yeah, this person, yeah. This person want to be in your business. Yeah, this person. Collective, you're going to get this person out your energy. Whoever this person is, this karmic, you're going to get this person out your energy. Because it's like this person got the audacity. It's like, mm-mm, no. It's like, Collective, you don't have to put up with this. But you was. You was. But you don't have to. Yeah. And you're going to realize you don't have to put up with this, Collective. 
Give me a charm card for this Eight of Wands and this energy right here with this Eight of Wands. But collective, this person been walked away from you emotionally. You gonna really realize they don't care over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Give me a charm card for success and growth, the Eight of Wands. And these cards over here with this Eight of Wands. Yeah, chair attendance. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Collective, I'm picking up. You're going to get some type of advancement, some type of upgrade and something. It may or may not be unexpected. It's going to be good news for you, though. Good news for you, bad news for the karmic. But Collective, I'm picking up. You're reaping a harvest over the weekend, collective. You or somebody else. And you paid the cost. You you earned this. You deserve this because you were in attendance. You were in attendance. You was there. Collective, if this is in love, it's like you could have been dating a karmic. And this person make you feel as though you don't deserve no more than what they give you. Or you're never going to get more in love than what they gave to you. But collective, the effort that you put in speaks for itself. Because it's like you was there for this person, but this person wasn't there for you. You was two of pentacles. Yeah, you were two, you were two pentacles. So it's like attendance is going to tell it all. Like attendance tell everything. Collective, you're going to get the success because of your attendance. You was there. So this could also be with some money. Collective with, um, you can have kids by this karmic. This karmic could be your ex-husband. It could be your child's father. Um, collective, whether you a male or female, if you a single father watching this, it's like you could be getting some money, like some extra money for the kids. And collective, this person could be upset, but it's like collective, you was there with the children for most of the time. You was in attendance. So why should you have to share this payout? Yeah, it's all about attendance. It's like you're getting this success because of attendance. Not wishful thinking, attendance. So I don't know, collective. It could be your child father that like could like up and leave you. Because it's like he probably wants some money that he didn't work for. Something like that with some money. Or collective, you might win a court case against your child's father or your child's mother about child support. Yeah. Something. Give me a charm card for this Eight of Cups. Yeah, decompress. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep, decompress. Collective, this person, this karmic that was around you. <sighs> I think they might leave the situation or leave you alone. Collective, I think this person might be tempted to, like, harm you. But it's like they're going to just, like, move away from you or leave you alone. But, Collective, I'm getting something is not warranted. Because I'm getting, Collective, you ain't do nothing to this person. This person is just a karmic. They're a karmic. But they're going to have to decompress. So this is, like, to relieve pressure. Yeah, it's like this person is not going to be able to be in your energy and like maintain their composure because they don't like the fact that you have eight wands in the world. That's success. Yeah, this person going to walk away from you emotionally. So like I said, collective, this could be a situation, collective, you got approved for like a house and it's like collective, you go back to your apartment with the good news. And it's like your lover left. They just packed their clothes and left. Because they don't like the fact that you got a house. Like you upgraded. They don't like that. So they're just going to leave. Yeah. Yeah, this person got to decompress. To relieve pressure. Yeah. This person got a lot of pressure collective. They're under a lot of pressure because they are a karmic. They have a karmic, in their heart, they're a karmic. They have a karmic way of viewing life, a karmic way of thinking. Yeah. 
So it's like collective, you um getting some type of success, it's like pressure to them. Yeah, they're under pressure, yeah. Give me a charm card for this Ace of Wands. Yeah, defensive. Yeah, defensive. Collective, this person that walks away from you emotionally, I'm also picking up this person is going to show their true colors, collective. This person is going to show their true colors, and I think it's, a, it's jealousy, too. This person is jealous of you, collective. Whether it's a lover or a business partner, they're jealous. If y'all was business partners, collective, this person going to just stop working with you. They might not show up to work. Yeah, they they just they just gonna leave. Attendance, chair, attendance. Yeah. Mm hmm. But this person is very defensive. And this passionate new beginning, this person is starting. This could be them having another um. Um. Yeah, this person collective. <laughs> This person, I'm picking up this person had um had options. This person had options lined up collective just in case you did something to this person that they didn't like. They had options and that was their defense. That ace of wands. So if this is in love collective, whether you a male or female, it's like your person probably saw this day coming. So it's like your person knew that you could have got some type of success in something. So they just went off and got them another girlfriend or boyfriend. So it's like they knew one day they, were, they would not be able to contain themselves. So they had somebody on the side. That was their defense. Because this you're too successful for this person. It's, it's something about you collective. This person don't like. And they could be jealous. But it's like they knew this day was coming. So they just went off and got them another lover. So... Yeah, and they they're gonna go to the third party, whether the third party is in love or in business. Yeah. So if this in, if this is in business collective, your person, your business partner is a traitor. Yeah, this person just up and left you, but they're a traitor though. Yep. Give me a charm card for um the moon energy. Collective, if you are um, a female or a male, it don't matter, and you was married to this karmic, when you tell this person to get out or you reach some type of success, I don't know. Collective, this person might divorce you. I don't know. This person is like they can't take it no more, Collective. They can't take it. So this person is going to pack their bags, go to the third party who they was cheating on you with, and they might be the one to divorce you. So like I said, again, the trash is going to take the, take itself out over the weekend, Collective. Yeah, Collective, I think some of y'all, y'all person might be divorcing y'all. And it's like, y'all don't even know it. But Collective, if that is the situation, don't worry about it. Because the reason why this person is divorcing you is because they can't handle you, your success. You didn't do nothing wrong. It's like this person don't like you. They're jealous of you. Yeah. Give me a charm card for this moon energy. Yeah, horse power. Yeah. Yeah. This could be... um Collective, if you a female... You was probably married to a karmic. This man is very possessive and he's very controlling. But collective, you would not allow this man to like um, dominate you. So this man going to divorce you because he want his power back. He want to feel powerful. He want to feel like he was in control of the beginning of the marriage. And he's, he's in control of how it's going to end. So this man might go off and divorce you collective. Yep. Or he's just going to go off and be with the third party. He's just going to go off and be with a third party. And collective, I think you're going to be shocked a little bit. You're going to be shocked. If this is a lover, you might be shocked. This man just up and leave you. And he might go back to somebody else he got kids with. Yeah. 
Give me a charm card for the heart chakra. You a buck masculine, yeah. Yeah. Collective, if you're a female, it's like... What's that R. Kelly song? Um, What is that? Um, What's that song that's coming to me? Um, I can't pick it up right now, but... Um, it's an R. Kelly song. And it's like, collective, if you're a female, this is what you had to deal with. Like, ego, testosterone. It's like this man was not nice to you. He was not fair to you. Because he's a masculine. Yeah, you had, this is what you're healing from. Like, uh, ego issues. Um, yeah. If I can, um... Yeah, I'm picking up that R. Kelly song. If you are a man watching this, it's like this woman, if this is in love, it's like if you a man watching this, it's like you was with a woman that um made you feel less than a man. This woman could have taken your self-esteem from you. And it's like the most high had to heal you from that. So it's like you're being healed concerning your masculine masculinity, if I'm saying it right. Like your masculine. Like, the Most High is healing you. Um, yeah, if you a man, that happened. Like, from the outs, from the from the inside out, you're healed. Yeah, because this woman, whoever you was with, it's like she dominated you. And it's like you could have lost your self-worth. I don't know if you had to learn how to be a man all over again. I don't know. So collective, if you're a man, your um your heart chakra, you're being healed or you're done with your healing. And it's like you're getting your masculinity back. Like you're very bold, you're very confident. Um if you are a female, you're healing from a masculine who's just too masculine. This man dominated you, um, wanted to possess you, have possession over you. Ego, things like that. That's what you healing from. Um, give me a charm card for the six of pentacles. Give, give me a charm card for the six of pentacles. Yeah, bow tie style. And this deck right here, this card is like um protection. Like your angels and ancestors, like your spirit guides. Yeah. Collective, I'm picking up. You was involved in dealing with this karmic for a while. And the whole time that collective, you was getting the short end of the stick, being mistreated, getting played. Your angels and ancestors was um, protecting you from this. So that's why this karmic expectation, this karmic expected this to go keep going on. This karmic expected this unequal give and take to continue. Yeah, but their expectation go in reverse over the weekend. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, give me the T with this uh success and growth energy over here with these cards. Yeah, child neglect, bad parent, bad parenting, scared of hates parent. Okay. Collective, this could have been, this karmic energy could have also been a parent. Yeah. And it's like, collective, this parent had control over your life, like, since you was a child. Like, this parent could have neglected you as a child, always had control over you. Um, But it's like, collective, in spite of what this parent have done against you, you're still successful. It's like, you've come a long way from being neglected as a child. Yeah, it's like you was um a victim of like bad parenting collective. You were scared. It's like you're you were scared of your parents. Yeah, or, and yeah, and you hate your parents. Yeah, collective. I'm picking up collective. You was the victim of child neglect, and it's like in spite of this collective, you're very success. You're very successful, or this parent collective. Your parents or parent could be mad collective because you could make your parent get out your house. Your parent could be living with you and taking advantage of you. 
And it's like over the weekend collective, you say no more. Yeah, you could be the one that child neglect. Like you got neglected as a child. Or your parent could be upset collective because you're probably moving out of their home. And it's like they want control over you. So your parents is upset that you moving out. Yeah, your parents wanted to keep you stuck in the cycle, possibly even dependent on them. Yeah. Tell me more tea about child neglect. Divination abuser, yeah. Yeah. Collective, your parents do um your parents was doing spell work on you. Yeah. Yeah. And they could have been doing it since you was a child to keep you bound to them. Yeah, your parent wanted you to be bound to them. Yep. Your parent or parents is a divination abuser. Or collective, um, if this is in love, collective, whether you a male or female, you could have been a single parent collective. And your person was um, doing something to your child and they don't want you to know. So it's like collective, say like you got kids by another man, but it's like you got involved with this karmic and you could have moved in with the karmic with your child or you allowed the karmic to move in with you and your child. But it's like collective over the weekend. It's like you break up with this karmic. And this karmic don't like that. Because it's like the karmic got to make sure that your child don't tell you. So it's like he want to be around y'all to make sure that your child don't tell you. So he can control the situation. Because he offended you. He could have did something to your child. So it's like the karmic is eight swords wondering... Okay, the collective kicked me out. So, it's like, I'm not going to be able to intimidate a child no more. The child is going to tell on me. Something like that could be going on. That could be going on as well. Yep. I'm picking up collectives. If you were dating a karmic. Whether you a male or a female, it's like, like I said, you either moved in with this karmic or the karmic moved in with you and they, uh, they did something to your child. And it's like, now that you done broke up with the karmic, it's like, he don't know whether the child going to tell you or not. Cause he's no longer under the same roof as you. So it's like the karmic is paranoid. Yeah. What's the tea with this Eight of Cups with this uh, false person and main male? What's the tea with this? Yeah, fake flexing. Yeah, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. Yeah. Collective, this person was able to fake flex at your expense. That's the tea. This person was fake flexing at your expense. Yep. Collective, I don't know if you could have had a business. Collective, you could have had a business and this karmic was going around telling people that it was their business. Yeah, this person could have been doing that to you. This person could have also been forging documents. Yeah. Like with your business name or something, Collective? Yeah. This person is could be, this karmic is also worried about doing jail time. So it's like collective. It's like this karmic just walk away from you. Yeah. Because they was fake flexing at your expense. Yeah. What's the tea with this uh, Ace of Wands over here? Yeah, facts. Yep. No facts. Never has the facts make shit up and lie. Yeah. Yep. I'm picking up whatever this Ace of Wands is. That's this karmic karma. <laughs> that's this karmic karma. Because this karmic never had the facts. This karmic was making shit up collective. And this karmic was lying. Yeah. Whether well, this is in love, work, or life. So I'm picking up this Ace of Wands that's in the upright. This new vitality that this karmic left you for or got to go to because you don't left collective. That's the karma. So, if this person was cheating on you, collective, they're going to have to go to the third party. 
over the weekend. Yep, it's a passion new beginning. But they stuck with the third party because they never had the facts about you, collector. They was making shit up and they was lying on you. Mm -hmm. Collector, this could also be a situation if this is in love. It's like your person, collective, you're a female and your person had you in a third party with his baby mother. Or he was listening to his baby mother or his mother and didn't believe you. And it's like, collective, over the weekend, you're going to get tired of this person. Because it's like, collective, you saying to yourself, I'm your girl. But you listening to your baby mother over what I say? Oh, okay, well, then you go be with her then. Yep. You go be with her. Mm-hmm. Something like that going on. And it's like collective. Your person is like this. And they wish. That, yeah. Yep. Whatever they was doing against you collective, your person going to wish they never did it or never said it. Yep. Yep. So, your person, as well as this new Ace of Wands being your person, Karma... Your person is going to get karma either way. Because whatever's going on in this passion new beginning that your person go towards, they don't have the facts about it. And somebody could be lying to your person. So it's like this empress with this magician could have lied. Like this empress could be your um your lover's mother or a child's mother. It's like this empress is very manipulative. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, she yeah, she could have told him whatever. But that's that magician I'm picking up is manipulation. Yeah. So it's like collective, if you break up with a lover, it's like his baby mother be like, you can come to my house. You know, bump the collective. You can come to my house. You don't have to put up with the collective. You could just come to my house. And it's like your person don't know that the empress is getting evicted. <laughs> So, it's like he don't have all the facts about um, this empress inviting him to her house to come stay. It's like she needs somebody to help her with her rent. Collective, you didn't need nobody to help you with your rent. But the empress who could have manipulated this whole thing or was manipulating your person. It's like she need help with her rent. But it's like, Collective, you ain't need help with your rent. And it's like this empress talking junk about you. And it's like your person was believing her. Collective, I'm picking up, if you a female, this could be happening to, like, a lover. And he could be a man, and it's like his mother is very controlling. His mother is very controlling and manipulative. And manipulative. It's like your person could be under spell work. And he could have gotten neglected as a child. Yeah. What's the tea with the... Uh, the moon energy. What's the tea with the moon energy? Oh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Somebody broke collective. Yeah. Collective, somebody was trying to control you that didn't have your credentials, didn't have your skills, didn't have your gifts, and didn't have your talents. But this person was trying to control you. Collective, this is happen to, happening to you or somebody you know. But I'm picking up collective. Whoever this person is, they it's like it could have been their parents who was doing this to them. And it's like collective, if it's you, it's like your parents was manipulating you because they're broke. It was all about the money the whole time. So it's like collective, your parents could have been making you feel as though you don't never do nothing right. You might as well stay home with me because if you go out in the real world, you're going to do this. You're going to mess this up. You're going to do that. You're going to do this. You always, you can't never keep a girl. You can't never keep a man. You might as well stay home with me because when you go out in the real world, you always mess things up. You was never good in school. Like, this is what this parent was saying. But it's like collective. It wasn't nothing wrong with you. Your parent was just broke. So it's like, or your parent wanted you to be broke. <laughs> So, it's like this parent will allow you to get a little, you know, a little job here and there. But to go to school and be successful, to get an education, this parent was like, uh-uh. My child not doing that. 
I want my child to be here. Because it's like this person viewed you as like maybe residual income. So collective, this parent was like, you was there for a reason. So you can work a little nine to five, but you couldn't go no higher than that. Because your parent wanted like make collective. If you made $500 a, a month or a week, your parent wanted like 300 of that. And they was fine with that little 300 extra dollar income. But it's like collective, you couldn't go no higher than that. Something like that. And it could have been a parent or collective. It, it could have been somebody you had kids by. So this could have been you or this is your child. Yeah. So it could have been somebody you had kids by collective. You had kids by a karmic. Yeah. Or this karmic, you probably don't have kids by this karmic, but this karmic could have did something to your child. That you probably don't know about yet, collective. But this karmic is worried that your child is going to tell you. So that's another reason why this karmic always want to be in your business. Always want to be around. Yeah. To make sure your child don't tell you what they, what he or she did to them. Or collective as well. You could have put up with this person doing this to you because you was broke. So you could have allowed this to go on collective because you was broke. Yeah. So it's like collective, if you a man, it's like you put up with a female or possibly even your mother that made you feel less than a person for money. It's like you 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 allowed this woman to take your masculine side away from you. All in the love of money. Like you wanted money. This woman took care of you. So you allowed this abuse because you were broke. What's the tea with this heart chakra? Yeah, photo proof getting evidence. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, photo proof getting evidence. Collective you, whoever this is. Over the weekend, collective, somebody going to um, have a breaking point. Somebody's going to have a breaking point because somebody got evidence. It's like somebody knew that the karmic was doing stuff to them. The karmic was somebody. The karmic was doing something to somebody. And it's like this person knew, but it's like this person probably didn't have evidence. And it's like collective over the weekend, this person going to get evidence. And it's like, they going to break it off with the karmic. Yeah. What's the T with um the Six of Pentacles with these cards over here? What's the T with these Six of Pentacles? Yeah, creativity, creativity muncher, threatening. Yeah, this karmic was still in somebody's ideas, copying somebody's work. Duplicates and feeds off you. Threatening, intimidating, threatened, and bothered. Yeah. Oh, God. This person... Yeah, somebody was in an equal give and take situation. This person was a creativity muncher or it's like collective the third party. Like collective, say like if this is in love, it don't have to be. But it's like collective, your person is cheating on you. You the one who always working. Your person cheating on you. But it's like his, his or her third party is like stealing your work. So it's like collective, somebody was getting disrespected all the way around the board. Somebody was getting disrespected all the way around, all the way around the board. I'm picking up this person was putting up with this for years, for a while. And it's like over the weekend, somebody's going to um, reach their breaking point because they're going to get some evidence. And it's like they're going to officially be able to heal or someone's going to start their healing over the weekend by separating themselves from this karmic. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been two people coming up against one. Because it's like one person was a creativity muncher and the other person was threatening someone. So, yeah. Yeah, it could have been, an, I don't know. This could be in business or in love. But if this is in love collective, it's like collective, your person who was cheating on you, it's like him and the third party was coming up against you. Yeah, collective. And it's like you felt intimidated, you felt threatened, and you felt very bothered in this, in this third-party situation. 
Yeah. But it's like your um you were protected though. You're being protected and you was always protected in this um unequal give and take scenario. Yeah, it's a third party. Whether in work, love, or life. Yeah, it's a third party. In work, love, or life. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I'm gonna end it there collective. Somebody's gonna have their breaking point. Yep, let's see. Let me see. Cause this concern energy. What's this person's issue with the collective? With the um person in eight wands? What's this person's issue? Bullshit storyteller. Their shit don't add up. Bullshit detected lies after lies. Mm-hmm. Yep. This person, ooh, this person got deceived though. Collective, your lover or your business partner got deceived by this empress. This empress is the one, the, like the mastermind. And it could be their child's mother or it could be their mother. Yeah. Somebody got deceived because it's like collective. This person issue with you, they feel as though you're a liar. They feel as though you're a liar. You're a bullshit storyteller. But it's like collective. When you separate from this person or go your separate ways, this person is now concerned that maybe you wasn't the bullshit storyteller. Because it's like their issue with you is that you're a bullshit storyteller. But it's like when you break apart from this person and things with this person, now they're concerned that maybe you wasn't the bullshit storyteller. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Let me see. This energy, eight eight cups, what's their issue against the collective? Or the person that's eight wands? What is this um eight cups energy issue with eight wands? Oh yeah. Mama's boy. Spoil you in close connection to mama. Still acts like a kid. Used to things being hand, handed over to them. Expects you to play mom. Yeah. So, collective, you that eight cups. And your issue with... um. Oh. Yeah. Your issue with your person is that they are a mama's boy. But I think that eight cups is you and the other person. It's like both of y'all eight cups because y'all go y'all separate way. So collective, your issue when you and eight cups is like you're emotionally walking away probably from a lover. It could be a business partner too. But this boy, this man is like a mama's boy. That's your issue. What's the issue with the eight of cups being the other party? What's the issue with this... Um, Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, collective. Okay, let me take that back. Collective. That eight of cups is the karmic. <laughs> Collective, this karmic issue with you, your, this karmic got an issue with your children. It could be a male child. But this karmic is walking away from you emotionally, been walked away from you, because they feel as though you spoil your children, your boy kids. So this karmic is definitely a male. For some of y'all, this karmic is a man. And this karmic is walking away from you because they feel as though you spoil your, um, your boy child. Yeah. And I told yeah, I told you collective this karmic did something against your child. Yeah, yep. Yep, this karmic did something against your child. Yep. And collective, this karmic had the nerve. This karmic is gonna go towards um either his mother or his child's mother. Yeah, but it's like collective when when your karmic get into this new connection. 
they're going to realize that you weren't the bullshit storyteller. When they get in this new connection, they're going to realize you was not the bullshit storyteller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's their issue with you, collective. They feel as though spoil you in close connection to your mother. Yeah, so I'm picking up, um, um, yeah, collective, you could be a female and this karmic could have did something against your child. And it's like, collective, you still ate wands. You're getting some type of success in spite of whatever this person did to your child. Mm. This person, I don't know, this person could have did spell work on your child. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's off the chain. That's, you know that's a karmic. Um, I'm picking up collective. What this person did to your child was like verbal abuse. It was verbal. It was verbal abuse. That's what this person did to your child. Yeah, it was verbal. So it's, I don't think it's nothing like sexual or nothing. I'm picking up verbal like, this person said things to your child, like, your mother don't love you. You ain't gonna never be nothing. I'm the man of the house now. Something that was very trifling. It was verbal abuse this person said to your child. Yeah, and it was a karmic masculine who said that to your child. And your child could be a boy. Because this masculine, all he wanted to do was fake flex. And it's like, collective, if you got kids, it's like... This man could have viewed your children as competition or being in the way. Because it's like this man just wanted to fake flex. Or it's like collective. This man had you in a third party. And it's like you could have been giving this man money. And it's like his karmic, his baby mother was able to fake flex. Yeah, with your money that you gave to this karmic. Mm-hmm. So collective, I don't know. You might find that out over the weekend. But I I heard the straw that broke the camel's back. Something trifling collective somebody was doing to you or somebody you know. Because it was like two people teaming up on one person. So collective, I don't know if a situation could have happened where you got this karmic watching your kids. And it's like he got his karmic at your house or it's like they being mean to your child. It's like this man is not the father of this, these kids. And you can have him watching your child. And it's like him and his mother or the person he or the third party could be mistreating your child while you at work. It's, it's trifling, collective. It's trifling what this karma was doing to you. It's trifling. But it's showing me collective that you and your children was protected when you was in this situation. Because it was equal give and take. It was equal give and take. Things wasn't fair when you was in a connection with this karmic collective. But your angel and ancestors was protecting you and your children. Yeah, they was protecting y'all. Because collective, I think you was being a little bit foolish. You was being a fool collective. You was being foolish. And that's why this card said collective, you're... Over the weekend, you're going to confront your demon. Yeah, you're going to take responsibility. Collective, every, I don't know. You might find out everything. I don't know. Your child might tell you over the weekend. And it's like, collective, you might divorce this karmic or this karmic might divorce you before you could divorce him. But collective, I'm picking up, you're divinely distracted. You're divinely distracted. Collective, if you knew this karmic was trifling, you probably just couldn't never get evidence or you didn't have the strength to leave this karmic. But collective, over the weekend, you're going to get, it's like you're going to be the divinely distracted. So it's like collective, things are going to be going so good for you. It's like, say like if your child do come and tell you, oh, mommy, when the karmic was living up with us, the karmic used to always tell me I was a piece of shit. And it's like, collective, your feelings is going to be hurt. But it's like, collective, you could have recently got a house or you you had a grand opening to your store. And it's like, collective, you so happy that you're moving into your home 
or things are going good in your business, it's like you're not able to soak in like bitterness and like self pity and like feel sorry. It's like you're not able to because you're distracted. And it's like in your mind, I don't know, collective, you might pick up your child and give your child a hug and just be like, you know what, son, I'm sorry it happened to you, but that will never happen again. So it's like collective, you're not able to like have like a, like your sadness is, it's like you're going to be um, protected. You're not going to be able to like feel sorry for yourself. Like what kind of parent am I? I wasn't there for my child. I'm stupid. How did I let this happen to my child? It's like you're not going to be able to be in that energy. It's like you're going to be distracted from like being heartbroken. The heartbreak is here, but you're distracted because you're seeing your ships come in. And I really believe the uh, collective spirit don't want you sad. Spirit don't want you sad. In spite of what this karmic could have did to you and your children, you did, you're not supposed to be sad, collective. Spirit don't want you um, guilt. That's what it is. Spirit don't want you to be full of guilt. 